Oh yeah, good moment world. How are y'all doing today? This is the Phoenix flying into the moment once again to deliver peace, love, and awareness to you and all the beautiful people out there. <sighs> not even going to lie, when I first came outside a few minutes ago, I did not actually have the intention of making a video. I had a video idea, but my original intention was not to make a video. However, my spirit was like, why not now? <laughs> Woo! So anyways, what we're going to be diving into today is how everybody is just winging it and how to respect others and how to fly high and find your wings. So a lot of people in this world are very confrontational. A lot of people in this world like to pull down others. And it's really unfortunate to see when someone is has found the gold in the moment. When someone has found that energy and is rising and people see that, unfortunately, you have two kinds of people in the world. You have people who respect them and uplift them through unconditional love. Even if they don't necessarily resonate with everything that they say, they still uplift them. And they either, they experience those concepts for themselves so they can make an accurate assertion about what they're saying, right? Or you have people who like to bring down people to the ground, like to pull them down. They're like a virus, so to speak. They want to infect others. And this is a critical issue in the world today. The reason being is because people have this conception, they have this illusion that they're in competition with one another. And the reason why people believe that they're in competition with one another is because they look at nature. However, there is a fundamental problem with this thinking because nature does not compete with itself. It has the illusion of competing with itself. But what nature actually does is it uplifts itself and each other around it. It, is, it adapts, so to speak. Excuse me. Now, I know that might seem contrary to what you believe, contrary to what you have learned, and... If you don't necessarily resonate with that, that's okay. But I want you to hear me out here because, yeah, sure, you probably will see in nature, the males certainly are always fighting. You ever seen like the rams like butting heads and stuff like that and all these other things. However, what's really going on here is that young animal, that young male, whoever's in competition, recognizes and respects the energy in that older <laughs> and that more experienced male and that younger male knows that in order for it to get its wings so to speak it must adapt and emulate but also find its own unique power in order to get above and to supersede that which came before it we see most people in this world, they don't want to adapt. Most people, when they see success, a lot of people when they see success, they want to bring down that success by slandering it, causing drama around it, saying mean and hurtful things prior to actually absorbing the energy of that person that has found its wings and is flying high. Because ultimately, we have to understand that we are all winging it. Because if we had an absolute answer, know all truth, like one particular method, wouldn't you think we have found it by now? We have had billions upon billions of spirits have incarnated on this earth. We have had many truths. We have many rise and falls. But we have come a very, very far away. Have we not? You can read a million books, and yeah, it's great knowledge, but all of the great gurus, teachers, writers, masters, wizards of the past have always said to their students, you may not necessarily resonate with everything that I'm saying. For you to understand and have awareness of these concepts, to be awareness that you have all the power, you need to go off on your own path and you need to experience for yourself. So before you make judgments, before you really question whether someone's energy is valid, 
But here's the thing, though. They're flying. So obviously, something that they're doing is working. They have found the gold within, right? So, see that as inspiration. Instead of trying to bring that person down off their pedestal, they might be on a pedestal. They might have the biggest ego in the world. But at the same time, they have found something. And you have to respect their mission. You have to respect their path and see that, hey, at least they're doing something right. And maybe there's something in that mix that I can learn from. And that's really what it's all about. We are winging it in this life. No one knows what the hell they're doing. I've said this in several videos. And even greats in the past have said, well, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just following my heart and what my spirit and what my highest calling is telling me to do. And that has allowed me to propel forward and cause the most change in not only my life, but the lives of all those around me. There's a reason why these people are electric. There's a reason why these people are magnetized. There's a reason why these people are sort of like the sun, where they're able to support many planets that are around them. If you look at the earth and the way that it works in nature, it adapts, it evolves. It sees that some other strain has found a way to get by and to produce more and to give more and give more back to the earth. So these animals, these creatures, these plants, they understand and they adapt. They're not in competition because they too come from the earth. They too have that same evolutionary strain inside of them. If you are someone who feels that they don't have an evolutionary strain inside of them, you're, you do. You really do. And I'm happy to burst this bubble because people really need to understand that they have the power within. And they have those wings. They can, too, fly high like the phoenix. <laughs> that is all for the message for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, and subscribe. And remember to find the gold in this moment, for that is all that exists. And I will catch you all on the next video. Woo! I love you all. Peace.